I have two Chloe handbags here to show you. I call it a twinning. These are both um, Chloe Paddington um, handbags. The Chloe Paddington is actually one of um, the most popular um, Chloe handbags out there because everyone recognizes this. Uh, it's like, a, um, it's a very classic uh, Chloe. When you, you, we talk about um, the padlock there, it's called Paddington because of the big <coughs> padlock um, charm. In fact, um, I'm thinking of, um, I'm not sure if I can remove the lock, then just um, putting it somewhere else, <laughs> transferring it into other bags. Okay, so I have one in pure red <coughs> calf leather, and oh, I'm sorry, it's a pebbled leather, and uh, the other one is um, like a wool type um, fabric kind of um, leather. So this Paddington handbag has a lot of, of compartments and a lot of details and um, features. Some of them are necessary, and I think it's just for the, just for, um, they've made it so detailed and they've made it so, I don't know, there's just a lot of unnecessary um, rivets and zippers and uh, things like that and belts. Um, belt hardware on the side and uh, just a lot of um, hardware rivets <laughs> so and I don't see any any function at all except for um, the do they have oh yes they do have um, protective feet of course if there's a protective feet then uh, that serves a purpose but the rest is just for visual purposes or just for art <laughs> artistic uh, um, effect or whatever you call it okay so let me feature the first one okay so these two of course are of the same length same measurements exact measurements okay although the chloe paddington they have them in the boston style as well and in some other in some other um, handbag style but um, this one is uh, the usual um, Paddington okay so let's <clears throat> let's look at this this is um, very thick thick with an extra um, padding here oh, I'm sorry covering here so this the handles wouldn't wear out because normally if you have a leather handle like this, um, this is what uh, where the wear and tear will uh, show. There will either be darkening or scuffing on this uh, part because this is of course the part that you carry or the part that you put over your um, shoulders. So, and this is <coughs> Chloe. I wonder why it's um, upside down. Oh, okay. So this is the Chloe thing, and of course, this is the this is the padlock, guys, that I'm talking about. And this alone weighs a ton. This is a very very good bag charm. So that's why I was thinking of maybe transferring it somewhere else. I'm not just sure if you can remove it because I I was able to unlock one of my clothes before, but it came with a lock or with a key. So I'm. I, I have yet to find this or maybe just maybe you just move the I'm not sure guys what I'm doing maybe not okay there you go so that there's a Chloe gold plaque there it's very it's in a very nice um, condition and there's a Chloe in the back you can see okay and is this so this is a pocket pop this this is the front this is flat as a pancake right now because I have nothing in there. Okay, so I can't be bothered to stuff it just for this video. So I'm like, whatever. I'm going to remove everything away anyway. So this has a pocket on both sides. Two open pockets on both sides. Okay, all right. So this is the back of the bag. And 
there's these two um, very long zipper pulls there. The zipper, guys, um, it's stiff and it's actually a pain in the bum <laughs> to uh, do it because you can undo this like a jacket, <laughs> like a zip jacket, okay? So there's these two very extra long zipper pulls. Oh, duh. Okay, I did not see this. So there's a key, of course, because my other one had a key. I was able to. Let me see if it works. Oh, it does. Yay. Okay, I can actually remove this. I can, yeah, I, I would love to, you know, I would love to um, transfer this to another bag. But of course, um, this is no longer a Paddington or Padlock bag if I remove it. But okay so there's this um lot extra it's in black the leather okay all right now so there's just too many too many things going on okay the sides the sides they have this um you can actually adjust this because there are several um holes here so that depends on um you could expand it if you want to or you wish to because there are several holes. So I think that's the... There you go. So if... Okay. This one is a bit lighter than the other one. It's still weighty, guys. It is very, very heavy. Even without the lock. So with the lock, lock then it would be a lot heavier. Now... There are extra, extra hardware or rivets here that I was talking about that's just unnecessary for me because you can't even see it. So this is the bottom of the bag. Too many, there are like six feet studs that I think they're not too, they should have been bigger to support this. More studs, it's like, is it the Valentino, the one with a lot of studs? It's just really, really annoying sometimes. Okay, now. <clears throat> okay, so this is what I'm talking about. You can totally undo this like a jacker, jacket, zippered jacket. And it's difficult, guys, to put it together. Well, it's got big teeth, by the way. <laughs> okay, so let's see. All right, there's not, nothing in the back of the zipper. It's just CD. It's just CD. Okay, now let's look at the interior of the bag. So this is just um, um, one black thick material fabric. And let's look at the... There's this thing here that says Chloe. And where will you find the? Looking for the. Where is it? Oh, here is the serial tag, made in Romania. And um, yes, actually, I didn't even inspect this because most of my Chloe's, um, the Chloe bags that I have owned before, they're all made in Italy. Now they they too have outsourced, <laughs> of course, for cheaper thingy. So um, these bags are not very, very um, expensive online. So um, you can own them in different materials, I guess. It's just, I don't know. At first when I, I saw this, they looked ugly. But, you know, it's a, just a different kind of material. So <laughs> I don't know why I, I got it anyway. Anyway, that's the first one. And, um, oh, I did not measure it. Anyway, I'll, I'll do the measuring on the second one. Okay, so. Let's look at the measurements. Okay, um, this is, this is 15 inches in length, okay? And in height, would be like around um, 7 to 8 inches. And the width, of course, this is wide. This is like eight to nine inches. It's expandable. It's like, look at that. So there's just too many 
things going on here. I don't think these small studs here serve any purpose at all. Now let's look at the handles. Okay, the um, coating. This is like pebbled leather. And the sides, of course. It's like a mirror of the other one, of course, because they're the same. Now let's look at the padlock. Okay, the padlock on the other one is brown. And this one, of course, is in red. So it's upside down Chloe here. And then upside down Chloe. And this is the one that's right side up. I just love this. No, I think it's missing the key. Oh, oh, the, the keys are here. Sorry. <laughs> the keys are here. This too is, this alone is a very, um, it weighs some, you know, it, it, it's not a light key. It's a very heavy key. And now, let's look at the, this has um, silver, silver hardware. Is it silver? <clears throat> No, the, zi the, zipper, the zippers are in silver. And this, the ring here, is in silver. But this is in gold. Let me see if this is silver. Oh, yeah, it is silver. Sorry. <laughs> so, um, okay, silver and gold. Okay. Now, okay. Now, this came with a Chloe uh, bonus blah blah oh jeez what does it say okay um okay there is nothing except for the card I just love the color on this one of course there's the tag a, there's the serial number here zero for the show doesn't say where it's made from so this is probably one of the old their oldest model because the old model won't be made in Romania they would be would have been made in Italy so uh, oh yes it says here right Chloe made in Italy this looks like my Balenciaga bag oh it's just that my Balenciaga bag has Islam skin and super light So this bag is not a practical bag. I'm just telling you that because as it is right now, it's empty and it weighs a ton. Now, if you try to add more. This is this is gonna. This is like um, a Boston bag to me. It has one zippered interior again, of course. This is like a Boston bag or a Speedy bag. And, um, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. This one is beautiful, guys. So, um, there you go. And, and this one is brown. The, the color on this one is just really um i would say very um grayish i mean very gloomy <laughs> the vibes that it's giving me so okay so the paddington has a big padlock with key with zipper pulls that look like this with um side buckles two open um easily accessible um, pockets and two two zippered top it doesn't close completely there is like a space here the gap and then where the gap is there is a long there is a long um, zippered compartment yes so i'm telling you it's just but one good thing about this is that if you store it, you can actually flatten it. It's just 
you know it's just like this it's just the only thing that I don't like is it's too complicated but I love this this padlock and this bit I love this this is the only thing that I like and um I don't know I've never had this um, bag that looks uh, just so complicated there's just too much going on guys but well it does a signature so you know okay so there you go <laughs> i have two uh, twins i mean i have uh, uh, two chloe's this time okay bye